G'day guys, how you going? It's Siski here. Welcome to my YouTube video. And in this video, we are going to finally start building my home theater riser. Uh, this particular riser is going to have a curve on the front of it. Um, that just throws in a whole different dynamic when you're building these risers. It's a lot more difficult to do that. Um, not just building it physically, but also doing things like running lights around that front edge and carpeting, etc. But uh, we'll work all of those kind of things out as we go along. But I definitely want it to be curved. I think curves the way to go. I like the look, and um, I like the extra space on the sides. Um, but yeah, that's what I've decided to do. Now you can see here, I've actually a few weeks ago we made a video where I made this temporary riser. And that was basically just so I could make sure my height was perfect. I could see over the front row of seats and I could see the carpet because my my screen, not that one, but um, the one that hasn't got its um, uh, fabric on it yet, goes all the way to the floor. So I needed to make sure that I could see all the way to the floor over the seats and I could. So my riser dimensions are going to be 400 high and 200 centimeters i should say from the back wall to the front of the riser so two meters from the retaining wall back there to the front wide so there you go that's what we're going to do today now i was going to go to bunnings and pick up some timber today we're freshly out of lockdown but um i've decided against that it's a bit wet i'll do that tomorrow so today i'm just going to stay home again i'm going to pull clean up all of that stuff and I'll probably pull I'll just make a blank canvas get rid of the the whole temporary riser find a place for these seats don't know where I'm going to put those I might have to make a bit of space around here maybe I should get rid of this dryer eh <laughs> it just looks so good with the seats that's why I've left it in here but um yeah well that's what I'm going to start off with I'm just going to clean up first and then I'll come back to you and we'll take it from there I've already collected half the timbers and stuff that we need to build this thing. So we're gonna save ourselves literally hundreds of dollars. So that's a good thing. So let me just get ready, I'll clean up and I'll be right back. didn't take too long it's great I haven't seen it this bare for such a long time it's awesome so what I was thinking is I might just um, kind of mark this all out um, I have to take into account the, the thickness of the flooring um, I'll just you know mark the height on the wall um, and then I'll probably I think I'm going to mark all of the joists on the concrete so all I need to do is grab my timber cut it and stick it on the lines and uh, then I'll do my, you know, put the saddles on and go from there. But that's going to be probably tomorrow or the day after. But what I was thinking is I might actually grab that template and put it back down here and then kind of push these seats back into place and just see what it's like with that curve. I'm sure it's going to be fine. It has to be fine. There's, <laughs> there's no other way around it. It's got to be great. But I just want to put those seats there and just double check, have a look. Um, and then I guess if I decide I can actually work around those seats as well. And if I want, I can actually watch a movie here tonight. <laughs> I'm actually, ever since I've you know, had this screen and the projector and so forth, I haven't even watched any movies on my TV. I've just used this cinema room, despite it only being, you know, a third of the way complete. But um, that's the plan. Let's get into it.
man. There we go. This riser, it looks huge. When you look at it like this, that's the edge of the front, and you look back there and you look down there, that's a lot of space. That's a huge amount of space. I guess it's got a lot to do with the fact that it's curved as well. But um, man, it's huge, it's big. So if we look back here, you can see the um, the template looks pretty good with this seat. I didn't lock it into place, this seating. It might change shape slightly, but I just kind of pushed it up together as best I can. Locking it up is so difficult. I don't want to have to do that and then pull it apart again, uh, which I will have to do. I, I forgot, I have to actually peel this carpet back and then kind of you know use this template and draw a line drew a couple of lines on the concrete of this curve um, so the carpet has to come up as well as the seats I guess I think I'll work it out I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to move everything again but that's okay and that's what I'm gonna do now I'm actually going to mark out this wall with the height um, and then I'm gonna put the you know space the joists out get it all done ready to kind of lay some timber but um, I'm pretty happy with that guys all right so let's build us a riser with a front curve on it so I've got my timber it's on my van I've got a lot of it I just spent about four hundred and seventy dollars on my you know joists um, as well as these hangers the hangers are too long they didn't have the right size I'm gonna have to cut them back um, but they're on my van at the moment on the road and uh, my neighbor just said that he'd give me a hand We'll have to walk them through his yard and through to mine and then I'll cut them and we'll place them On this floor here, but um, first of all what I might do is show you what we've already got I've got I mean look at this look at this retaining wall um, That is just over five meters long just to that corner over there uh, the width of the cinema is a little bit lo uh, about 400 mil longer than that where those TVs are it's just like a shelf but um, yeah so we're looking at about five meters just in this wall here but um, I found an LVL an LVL has got to be worth a fortune I reckon for this bit of timber and it's a one piece we are going to stick that on there you can see I've actually already marked out where the top of it has to come and I found, I've got another two or three LBLs that I can use in this build. In fact, just there, you can see that there. There's a, a line there for the side. I've got another LBL. What I'll do is I'll like, let's go and have a look. Um, I'll, in fact, I'll show you the um, I'll show you the yellow tongue flooring that we're going to be using on the, the the top layer. If we come over here, you did see it in that um, temporary riser that I did, but this is it here. We have enough here, I think. This is all used stuff. Yeah, you can kind of make that out. Um, this is all used stuff, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be brand new. Um, we're gonna be buying brand new stuff for the first layer, but um, this stuff here, this can be the second layer. <laughs> but look at this, this looks like it's brand new. I got this piece at the dump the other day. Saved me $40, but um, there you go. So that is the flooring. Let me just take you outside here into the backyard we have a couple of LVLs here found these at the dump they're quite expensive LVLs um, if we have a look here on, on the side of my stairs can you see there's another one just there look how long that one is we're definitely going to be using these um, and for the big one the one that I showed you just before the really the back wall can you see behind here look at this one it starts at the beginning of those stairs over there and it goes all the way to the end of these stairs it's massive I think it's about six meters long but um, there you go so let's go back inside we've got some timber what I might actually do is before I start laying out the joists and cutting the joists down for the for the riser, I might actually grab that um, really long piece of timber, that LVL that's going to go there, and I might actually cut that and we'll have to dyna bolt it, um, drill some holes into that and dyna bolt it. I've got some, I've got a box of dyna bolts as well, and we'll do the side one, and then we'll start laying out our joists. 
and um, at least then we can kind of put our joist hangers on as well get everything ready all right I'm gonna get into it I'm gonna start pulling this oh, I'll do the timber a bit later I might actually start with this um, back piece here it's called the um, um, damn it what do you call it I'll think of it and stick it on the screen for you um, but yeah I'm just gonna get into it bearer it's called bearer <laughs> I'm gonna get into it start this off and see how far we get by the end of the day Right, there you go. So that there represents the most expensive part of my build so far, $470. I didn't need to get, you know, 190 mil wide. I could have easily done 140 and that would have saved me a couple of hundred dollars. But um, I decided to go overkill and uh, just over engineer it. I think it's probably the safest way to go. But um, if we come in here, you'll actually see against the retaining wall there, we have our bearer sitting pretty. And uh, what I plan on doing now is actually peeling this carpet back, putting the uh, stencil on the concrete, marking my curve line, and then I'll roughly cut each joist so that they're, I don't know, 40, 50 mil overhang over the, um, over the, uh, the curve line. And then I'll mark on the end of the joist where I need to cut it, what angle I need to cut it, depending on that, um, you know, the curve line and uh, take it from there. Then I'll start um, bolting, diner bolting the, the bearer up and putting the saddles on. But, uh, yeah, it's coming along. Let's get into it.
Okay, so I got my I got my curve drawn. It starts that the, the lead pencil there. Goes all the way around. It's pretty subtle. The funny thing is, I'm still procrastinating. So you can see just not that dark one, that light coloured line. That felt line there was the original one. But um, I think that's going to be fine if we have a look from this side here. I'm going to kind of lay my joists over that. I have a feeling it might be going a little bit straight just here, but that's kind of to that, um, that's conforming to that lounge suite, which like I said, I'm not going to be holding on to that. But um, yeah, I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do, if, if I do tweak this, curve slightly again it will actually just be in this bit here and I might bring the curve in about a centimeter but um listen what I think I'll do is I'm just going to put a bit of extra overhang on my um on the lip of the riser and that way I can actually um kind of if I need to slice a little bit off I can still slice it off and you'd never notice but uh yeah I'm just, I hate doing this kind of stuff. I'm pretty sure that's going to be fine. It looks good when the seats are there anyway. So let's just roll with that.
there you go. I'm pretty happy with my progress today. Um, I'm going to call it for today anyway. It's pretty nice you know, to get to be around about 5.30. But um, I'm happy with that. I've cut them all, you know, a little bit longer than they need to be. So now I just need to make work out exactly how far back the actual curve front is going to go because this curve that we drew initially, that's going to be the, the end of the, the riser, you know, where the lip comes over. I need to kind of inset it back about a, I'm not sure whether it's going to be a, you know, a 50 mil overhang or a 70 mil overhang, but um, I'd have to do another curve and that's what we're going to cut these to, to match that curve. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a bit difficult to understand. I actually forgot to, to draw that second curve. I was going to do it, but um, I forgot about it. So I'm going to have to peel these back up and put the template back down. But I'll do that tomorrow. All right, stop the press. Um, it's the next day and I am throwing a major spanner in the works. Uh, the way I have this drawn up at the moment, um, basically the flooring is going to butt into this, into here like that, basically or even a little bit higher. But um, last night I was staring at it and I just think it would be much nicer if the flooring just went all the way through that and butted into that um, slab at the back there. It would just look so much nicer. It would feel so much nicer. There wouldn't be a little step up when you're you know, walking behind your chairs. And if I put a subwoofer in the back there, just kind of accessing it, it'd just be nicer all over, more professional looking, I think. But to do that, Basically what I need to do is cut the frickin' bricks in half. Oh man, I can't believe it. Do you know how much dust that's gonna create? It sucks. Not to mention, can I actually cut it? I mean, I cut bricks and concrete all the time. Um, if you saw my channel a little while ago, I've only been going for, you know, less than a year easily. Um, I made a video where I found this nine inch grinder and man it was the dodgiest fix that i mean i fixed it really well but whoever had it before me what had happened is it had been cut the this this um uh, uh power cord had been severed and they just dodged it up and and held the wires together with electrical tape man it was so dodgy and um seriously i actually couldn't believe it. So I actually fixed that, tested it out, looks great. This is going to be the first time I'm going to use it because that's what we're going to use. And hopefully we can cut that stuff with these blades. I got these, these are for cutting concrete, etc. I'm just not sure whether it'll go through Rio bar. There's some pretty heavy duty Rio bar sticking through that, um, that retaining wall there. So it does say it's a general purpose blade. So I'm hoping it will. If it doesn't, we'll get around it somehow. But um, that sucks. I mean, man, it's going to take me an hour just to prep this area. I have to clean up there. I have to cover everything, put towels and sheets over everything. Um, I'll have to make a little tent so that that contains the dust. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but um, I have to do something. But uh, if I don't do this now, I'll seriously, I will kick myself. Uh, once it's done. So let's do it and let's do it correctly. All right, getting there, I'm getting there. I don't think I actually recorded the first part, which sucks, but that's all right. I got up and I had a look at the camera and it had stopped recording. But uh, anyway, I'll get some of it. 
But yeah, you can see that I've um, actually opted to use this rotatory hammer drill rather than the nine inch grinder. And basically it comes down to dust. This thing doesn't kick up hardly any dust, whereas this thing, oh, I'd have to cover everything, all of my, yeah, it would just suck. As it is, all I've covered with this thing are my projectors and that'll do. Like I'm looking over at the TVs and so forth, I can't see any dust on them. I'm sure there's a tiny bit, but um, yeah, if I had used this thing, even with a tent, even if I had kind of put sheets and made a little tent to operate under, I still would have had heaps of dust. So this is good, it's almost done now. Um, and what I end up doing, you can see that's, that line there is basically where I want the, the top of the floor to go. Basically what I worked out is, hey, if I just knock that half brick off that complete top row and then I'll just build it up from that large brick there maybe I think I'll have to pack it out by 20 20 mil with a bit of hardwood or something but that's cool that's the easiest way to do it I will use that nine inch grinder to cut these Rio bars off so but yeah I love love the way I can just kind of knock everything out the in the back though all these large pieces of concrete can go in the back of the retaining wall but um, cool, I'll get back to it. All right, there we go, finally. Oh man, that took a couple of hours, I reckon. And uh, very messy job. It would have been a, probably a lot messier, I'd say, if I had kind of used the angle grinder, though. It would have been dust everywhere. But uh, there we go, I finally, I have, basically I've got my blank canvas. So now I can start building my riser. Listen, apologies, I planned on building the riser in this episode but I'm actually not now. I think I'm gonna end this video here and uh, start afresh in the next episode and actually build the entire riser in the next episode. This video, even though I planned on doing the whole riser in this episode, I think we'll just kind of, you know, pencil it down as preparation, more preparation and whinging, whinging about my fricking slab, um, even though I know what I'm gonna do now to kind of, you know, rectify that. But uh, there you go guys, listen, I'm going to finish it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.